We've had Dennis for about 15 years. He's my number one helper. Uh, we have horses and uh, he uh, follows me around from barn to barn when I feed and he's all sitting right out there waiting for me. Runs about 10, 15 feet ahead of me and uh, flops on the ground and I have to pay him, you know, give him some pets. And he works so hard. About five years ago, uh, Dennis started getting a scab on his nose and his chin. The lesion on his chin was a wound that was about an inch and a half in diameter. The sunshine in Colorado in high altitude creates a huge problem for cats that are outdoors and are primarily white-faced or have very little pigmentation in their fur. And so it's not uncommon for cats that have spent a lot of time outside in Colorado to present to the veterinarian with scabs or what appears to be traumatic lesions on their nose, on the tips of their ears, in Dennis's case, on the chin. Out of the blue, they told us, oh, we think Dennis might have cancer. They immediately did blood work on him, and it did show that he did have cancer. Squamous cell carcinomas, when they're that large, are very resistant to small doses of radiation that are typically given every day as part of a full course of radiation. So we used what we call um, a coarse fractionated radiation approach, where we just use a few high doses of radiation. It's very easy on the patient. After the third treatment was over, and I brought him back in, for the first time in a year and a half, we could see Dennis's white nose and chin. And we were so happy. Uh, but that was not the end of the treatment. He had a lump on his neck right here. And she was worried about that, that the cancer had spread. The lymph node uh, in his neck became enlarged and sure enough the cancer had spread to the site. So we surgically removed the lymph node, confirmed that the cancer had spread to that site, and then used these three high doses of radiation again to treat the chain of lymph nodes down his neck. He's been cancer free for almost three years now. And uh, we're just so happy and in debt to the wonderful people here. They're, they're special people. They have a love and compassion for animals and you can feel it, you know it, you know, they do care a lot. We know Dennis still goes outside and we still have some little wounds on his nose. We've been able to prevent them from progressing, but if they do progress, we may need additional therapy. Her diagnosis and treatment, uh, it worked for him. We're so happy to have her as his, his vet. We're real happy.